The inferior alveolar nerve block is the most widely used in dentistry and yet many people do it wrong. This video is very important because you will understand the step by step of the technique. According to Malamed, the success rate of this blockage is 80 to 85 percent. But if you not execute it correctly, the index drop a lot. So pay attention and understand it definitely. The first step, you should palpate and identify the anterior border of the mandibular ramus. The patient must keep the maximum mouth opening. Your index finger should be around about 1 cm above the occlusal plane. The second anatomical structure that you should identify is the pterygoid mandibular raft. Taking these structures in account, you will draw an imaginary straight line from the center of your fingertip to the deepest part of the pterygomandibular raft. The raft starts from the region of the retromolar trigon and goes towards one extremity to the hamulus of the medial pterygoid plate. In this path, it deepens in certain place. The next step is to divide this imaginary line into four parts. The puncture point will be three quarters of the distance from the anterior border of the mandibular ramus concerning this imaginary line to the deepest part to the pterygomandibular raft. A basic mistake is to make the puncture much anterior, which causes the needle to touch the bone very early and the anesthetic solution is depositated in the wrong place. Keep in mind that the correct positioning of the syringe is with its body at the level of the premolar teeth on the opposite side of the puncture. In some cases, when the mandible is very divergent, you can position the syringe a little more posteriorly, almost on the molar on the opposite side. The next step is to insert the needle into the target area until you feel a kind of bone resistance. It is important not to force the needle against the bone, so you could damage the needle bevel. The needle needs to be 25 or 27 gauge long. The needle is inserted almost entirely. A small segment of the needle usually remains outside of the oral tissues, which is desirable because if the patient makes some sudden movement and the needle breaks, usually the needle breaks at the junction with the hub. This way, this could be more easily removed. If you inserted the entire needle and did not touch the bone, you have your puncture point too posterior or the body of the syringe too anterior at the level of the first premolar. Then you need to modify and reintroduce it. After touching the bone, you will retract the needle about one millimeter. Why did you do that? To prevent the tip of the needle from being inside of the mandibular foramen. Then you perform the aspiration maneuver to make sure that you are not inside of any blood vessel or artery, a rapid intravascular injection can lead to a relative overdose reaction in addition to anesthesia not being installed. You have to realize that for the nerve impulse to be prevented from being conducted through the nerve fibers, the anesthetic solution must be in contact, in direct contact with the nerve, which is not the case with an intravascular injection. You will administer the anesthetic solution slowly and steadily. The glass cartridge has advantage over the plastic cartridge. More about it later in another video. The slow, steady injection should take about one minute. You don't need to time it. Just keep in mind that the position needs to be slow. Will you administer all the content of the cartridge in this location? No. You leave a small amount, something around 0.1 mm of anesthetic solution for the anesthesia of the lingual nerve. Then you withdraw the needle in half and deposit the rest of the anesthetic solution. The lingual nerve is located anterior to the inferior velar nerve, which is why we perform this reposition of the needle. At the end of your deposition of the entire content of the cartridge, the needle can be completely removed and we will wait for the onset. How long should you wait? At least 5 minutes ideally 10 or even 50 minutes. It's here that most dentists make some mistakes. They perform the technique and already try to start the procedure right after the first numbness of the lips. Often the lips are numb, but the poop anesthesia is not yet fully established. Hence the importance of waiting 10 minutes or more. This is the inferior alveolar nerve block technique. Soon, I will post more videos to complement this one. If you want to be notified about it, just subscribe the channel in the link below. Also, comment below what your main doubts so I can create a new content on the topics you need most. Okay, bye bye.